Uh, hello again. This lesson I'm going to show you how to make some fire in Photoshop and it's a pretty quick and easy process. So first of all in Photoshop what you want to do, go to File and New. Um, let's set up our document. Let's just give it a, um, a web preset. Let's just choose this one. That's not going to matter too much. We might, or actually no, let's not do, yeah let's do that. We'll change it to portrait mode, it's not going to matter too much. Background, let's change the background contents to black so that we get, we've got a black background to begin with. Even though it's transparent it seems here, uh, it's still, it's going to be easy to see our fire on. So what we want to do is on a new layer, create a new layer and let's get the brush tool and what we'll do is make sure you've got a soft brush selected and I'm going to zoom in with Command Plus a little bit here, pan up. It doesn't matter what colour you use here, just don't use black. I'm going to flip my foreground and background colours to white so that I can see that. I'll undo that for a tick. I'm going to make sure the opacity is set to 100%. Yours should be. And I'm just going to draw, click and hold and paint out just kind of a bit of a shape like this. Now the shape's not doesn't matter too much at the moment because we're going to muck around with it in a little while. Now, the next thing we want to do is, is we want to, this little button here called Effects, go into there and then choose Gradient Overlay. Alright, now what we want to do is, I'll move this over here so I can see, let's change the gradient to this orangey one here and we'll move the angle to 9 to 0% so that the yellow's in the middle and the orange is on the sides. Double click in here to bring this gradient editor up and just move the two bottom sliders in a bit and that's going to add some more orange on both sides of the graphic that we've created that we're making because the flames are going to have more orange than yellow in them and that's pretty good. Click OK to get out of the gradient and we're pretty good there so let's click OK again. Alright, now we're going to start to draw the shape in with a smudge tool, but before we do it, we need to right click the layer and choose Convert to Smart Object. And again, what we want to do, we want to right click the layer again with our flame on it and go to Rasterize Layer. And now, this is going to get our smudge tool working. So if you ch find the finger pointing, the smudge tool, it's just there, and can muck around with the strength and size. This size is too big. Command plus to zoom in. All right, oh, that's probably a bit too close. I'm going to change left bracket key to change the size quickly. And look, let's just go in and smudge and move all these pixels around so that we kind of starts to create this awesome kind of looking fire. All right, now I could spend a long time doing this. Um, you can adjust the size if you want a bigger smudge. Okay, when I'm coming down here, or you could go even smaller to get some finer areas. It's nice to get some of the to cut back in as well. See, cutting back in with the orange works nice also. So, um, I'm going to stop now. I could work on this, like I said, for a long time. Uh, the last thing that you can do is grab your brush tool and just with white paint selected. Okay, white paints here. If you if you can't see, you can grab the colour up here and drag it to the top left corner, or you could double click in here and do the same thing to get the white paint. And just with the size of the brush, let's just paint some straight white here, so it's like the really hot part of the flame. And again, back to our smudge tool, and let's blend that together. Okay, we can go back and forth, and we can go out and in. I mean. Okay, there you have it. Thanks, guys.